Hello everybody, welcome to today's class and in the previous class we were discussing about structure of atom and in this chapter we have already discussed regarding the structure of an atom which was given by J.J. Thomson and also Rutherford. So today we shall discuss about the model of an atom which was given by another important scientist. His name is Niels Bohr. Let us learn the Niels Bohr model of an atom. So what were his postulates? According to Niels Bohr, electrons are present in the extra nuclear portion are revolving in a well-defined circular paths, which is called as orbits or shells or energy levels. What he said that the extra in the extra nuclear portion of an atom the electrons will be revolving in a circular path which he called them as orbits or shells or energy levels. So let us learn the distribution of electrons in different orbits. So the pattern of distribution of electrons in different orbits is called as electronic distribution or electronic configuration. So it is based on certain guidelines given by scientists Bohr and Bury. So according to Bohr's model of an atom, what he said that in order of energy where in the extra nuclear portion which is said to be energy levels or they are also called as shells, the shells he has given the name that in the center nucleus is present which is positively charged and very nearest to the nucleus the first shell or the first orbit is called as k shell next to the k it is l and next to the m l is m shell and next to m is n shell and goes on like this he gave the name for the shells and in, in these shells the electrons will will be revolving so this was the model given by Bohr now let us learn radio isotopes these are another type of isotopes so what are isotopes in the last chapter we have already discussed regarding isotopes that isotopes are nothing but the atoms which has same atomic number but different atomic mass what are I radio isotopes then so radio isotopes are nothing but the isotopes that are radioactive examples we have many radio isotopes like radioactive carbon so carbon-14 is a radioactive carbon. Uh, this isotope is used in determining, determining the age of old specimens, wood, animal which, has, which have died and it helps in identifying the fossils. So carbon isotope or radioactive carbon isotope it is used in the determining the age of any fossil substances it could be any fossil animal which is dead and we can find out at what age what is the age of that animal when it was dead all these can be find out using this radio carbon 14 isotope radioactive carbon isotope so this technique is commonly known as carbon dating another radioactive isotope is sodium Sodium-24 isotope is used in the examine of circulation of blood in our body. So it is also helpful in the study of actions of medicine in the body. So using the sodium, radioactive sodium, we can find out what is the action of medicines in our body and also the circulation of the blood in our body. Next is sodioactive sorry radioactive carbon sorry cobalt radioactive cobalt 60 is used in the treatment of cancer so cancer can be cured not 100 percent for some extent it could be treated using radioactive cobalt another radioactive I, uh, substance or element is iodine so iodine is used in the treatment of quieter as we know children uh, deficiency of iodine causes quieter quieter is a deficiency disease 
which is caused because of deficiency of iodine. Iodine is a mineral and if this mineral is less in our body, we will suffer from a, a disease called as goiter and this goiter can be cured using the radioactive element that is iodine. In the same way, we can use radioactive phosphorus. It is used to determine the kind of phosphate in the soil and radioactive uranium is there which is used to uh, used as a fuel in the radioactive or nuclear reactors so these are said to be radioactive isotopes so i hope you have understood this chapter that is structure of atom and we have completed this chapter by this and also the whole chemistry part of this year's. Thank you students.